Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of FTV Skies Let's Play. In the previous episode we started going back through industrial foregoing and started doing some mob separation so you can see that this is working relatively well, a little too well. Uh, mobs will spawn over here and it'll move the adults to this side. Uh, the only thing that I've noticed that is eventually going to be a problem is that I mean the mob cap is obviously going to get reached but also the mob cap gets reached by these guys the starbuncles and uh the drigmies and some of that stuff that spawns like these guys stuff that I don't need and stuff that's not going to get separated by the animal separator but there's really nothing I can do about those guys that is not placed in the spot that I want it to be that doesn't matter uh, so it is separating these guys, which is good. Uh, now I've just got to figure out what I'm going to do with uh, the adults now that they're here. I turned the slaughter factory off. I could probably just turn it back on for now. Like, it's really not going to matter too much. Uh, and eventually all of those will just die and I'll get pink slime and stuff like that. So let me sleep through the night super quick. Uh, the next thing that we're going to work on is lasers. Uh, laser drills ore drills and fluid drills so I already have those set up here of stuff that I need to craft I did go through here and look uh, none of these have rewards and I even went back to the old version because uh, like I've said in the previous episode there was an update between the last time I played and now uh, none of these have rewards in either version so some of them do so like this one has the pink Lumion paintballs, uh, but like some of this stuff still does have it, but none of the industrial foregoing stuff has ever had <laughs> rewards, it looks like. So, not 100% sure on that one. So, we just need to work on laser bases and lenses, are the few things that I'm going to start doing in this episode. So, let's start with the laser ore base. We'll go ahead and teach you that. Um,. Iron ore. I know I can get by um, like a combiner. I think if I take some of this and some cobblestone, which I already have in my inventory, I can come over here to a combiner. Uh, ultimate enriching factory, enriching factory, smelting. One of these is a combiner. Unless there's a chance it's up there. Let me go up there and check super quick. I think I have a combiner somewhere. Crushing factory. Unless I put it away. Or unless I'm thinking of a different... Iron ore. Yeah, through a combiner. And I thought I had one. Yeah, be right here. Okay, so if I just put some iron ore in here, it should make me enough. So I should just need like 16. So we'll do eight and eight, and then that'll get me two of those. And hopefully that doesn't, that just got crushed. So I need to beat it to the punch. Um, two of those and I don't know where that iron just went hopefully it doesn't go anywhere that's gonna get messed up in my system it doesn't look like it's going to let me just get rid of that hopefully that doesn't mess anything up I think I caught it fast enough that it probably just got thrown back in the system Alright, so let me just come back over here. So then I just need a diamond pickaxe. That might work. Uh, I don't know if it'll let me do it without it being full. Let me grab some plastic. I'm not going to make... Well, actually... I am going to make the thing for it. So let me just do this. 
So I do need to teach it how to make iron ore eventually. So let me just put all of this back super quick. Oh, did I already? I'm so confused. Did I already do that? I may have. Um, all right, so then a laser drill. Let me teach you that. And then a fluid laser. Okay, so ore laser, laser drill, fluid laser. And I'm probably going to need another crafter down here. Uh, just because I think the one that I've already got is full. So let me go ahead and make that. It's just got to process all of this stuff super quick. We should have another crafter. So let me come down here again. Yeah. So let me put that here. I need my wrench to spin you around. And I probably need some more cable just so I can connect you. Your turn that way now. So let me put these three in here. I think I am going to need to teach you how to make diamond pickaxes. So yeah. So let me get a pattern. Recipe for a diamond pickaxe is easy. Let me drop you here. All right. So laser drill. I know I'm going to need four, I think, per craft, like per, uh, all right, so use Fe to generate fluid, all right, so additional, either gas, laser bases are not powered directly, instead laser drill is placed one block away, and that is given power, okay, so a drill, Let me just make a few to start with. All right, so I need redstone blocks. Am I just out of redstone? I kind of am. Are you not processing? Iron comb. Do you not go in here? Iron comb and a centrifuge should make some stuff. Oh, because it's got pink slime in it. Oh, uh oh. That's no good. Because um, I need a way to get that out. Exporter importer so this is going to be on the bottom potentially down here pulling out oh the liquid is going into the bottler okay all right so i'm not going to be able to put pink slime in here because I don't have a way to get pink slime out unless I just put another exporter on the front like that and say that you're gonna fluid you're gonna put pink slime And then if I do that, oh, that's an exporter. I think I need an importer because it needs to be able to go into the system. Um, whitelist pink slime. whitelist pink slime 
So now that pink slime should come out. Cool. So now I should be able to put these guys back in here, and that should process. So you also have pink slime, so I need to do the same for you. So fluids, whitelist, pink slime, and just find a way to connect you. Cool. All right. I think I wanted to not have to do that, but it looks like that might be the only way, <coughs> which is fine. So eventually that should get me some more redstone, but in the meantime, is there a quicker way to get it? So pink slime combs, I've got a lot now. Uh, so redstone comb, let me just throw this in here super quick if I can. Those are spirits. Let me just do you like that. All right, so laser drill is what I was trying to make, and I was trying to make a, about nine of them. Laser drill. Still missing one. All right, so redstone I know comes from dust. So let me just grab a stack of dust and I'll throw it in these guys. One, two, three, four, five. way they're fast enough all right so I just saw some redstone go in there yeah so laser drill what else do you not have you're missing latex it shouldn't be a problem you should be like absolutely full of latex I am only showing one bucket of latex in this system, which shouldn't be a thing because that has an external storage unit on it. It should be treating this as an external registering you are for sure connected to my system you are for sure absolutely full of latex. Ah, that could be part of the reason. So let me do this. There we go. Alright. So now I should be able to just request... Some laser drills. We'll get nine of those. Alright, so there's my laser drill. So now I just need the ore processor, I mean the ore base and the fluid base, which those two should be super quick. Which, so there's that ore laser base, 
And then there was my fluid laser base. Cool. All right, so that does get me any laser drill or any laser lens that I want. So let's go with yellow because I know that that's one that I'm going to need specifically for um, sulfur. So I think the way that this works is that I take the ore laser and I put it here. And then I take these guys and they have to be one block away. From the thing here. So let me grab some more cobblestone and I'm just going to build out a small platform here. So like that. And then uh, miscellaneous, no, entry index, transport, it's all about mobs, tools, no. Resource production, that might be it. Or laser base. When fully charged, laser drill. This machine would provide it with power charges. The first laser base that it finds in its working area. So show working area is that, so I need to rotate it. Then I can turn you off. Show on you. I'm gonna guess that I need to just rotate all of these. Okay. Cool, so now that's got that. I'm gonna give you a laser lens. And these guys all need power, so I've got a flux thing. So I'm going to put it underneath this guy. So I'm going to put you here on the power network. And then all of these guys also need power. So that is why I've got some basic cables. And I just need to dig out below each of these. I am going to go down one block with all of this. so I can fill in the area. So put these all underneath here. Nope, neither of those are where I wanted you to go. Put you under there, under there under you and then everything is going to come off of this flux point so then I can go here and here but you do not seem to be No, you are now. Okay. It's just slow because I picked the low level. Because these guys don't need a ton of power flowing through them. And it also takes a lot to fill up the back stuff on these. Alright, cool. So now you should all be getting... So you should be getting... Stuff. <laughs> um uses you are going to collect me anything from like moon cheese okay um all right so minimum y level is five maximum y level is 10 
so what so we are at y level 60 so your depth okay cool so you're getting me something I don't know how deep it needs to go does it need to be between 5 and 10 So like, do I need to lower this like around seven ish? And then I'm going to put some upgrades in you. So let's just upgrade speed, efficiency and processing. So if it's a depth of seven, each ore that can be produced has a weight based on the biome the machine is placed in and the depth the machine is configured to mine in. Laser lenses increase the weight of the produced ore. So it says sulfur has a weight of six, minimum five, maximum 10. So it's getting me some like redstone and stuff. I'm gonna grab all of my upgrades. So you can't have speed. So that's efficiency and four processing. Okay. I'm learning that some of these can only have a certain number of each thing. So what if you got efficiency and speed and you also need so efficiency, speed and processing. So I need another processing dude. And that'll fill you up. I think the other thing that it could probably do is range. Okay, cool. So we are getting sulfur. Awesome. So that, that's working. So now I just need to import you. And I just need to make some more cable. Let's just make a few. And we're just gonna tap in to this. And then we'll put speed and stack upgrades. Probably don't need that many, but cool. So now sulfur in my system should go ahead and just get processed somewhere, right? Do I have something that automatically processes sulfur? I don't know. But I got more of these, the laser drills, and I also got the fluid base because I'm going to make an orange lens and get lava because I've been producing lava using um, blaze rods and stuff like that. This is how I've been producing lava for a while, and I, I just don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> it, it's going to take a while. Um, all right, so I just need to make a lens. How do I make just a lens? Just a basic laser lens. Gray laser lens. White, orange, brown, blue, purple. 
Is there just a simple... Okay, so this is... Okay, cool. I was like, there's gotta be a way to make it. Alright, so like a white laser lens, for example, it's just gonna take glass panes, some latex, and a color. Okay. So... Glass panes... Let me just make a, about a dozen of them if I can. 16 sounds good. All right, so, and then just any color dye. So let's just try orange if I've got it. Or if I can make it. And it says it needs latex, so I'm just gonna grab a bucket of latex. We'll dump you in there. And there's an orange laser lens. And I'm just gonna go ahead and also make a light gray. Because it looks like you can put multiple lenses in the same thing. So light gray. And I can just go ahead and do that. So then I can put you away and I can just grab a bucket of latex again. And then... Like a light gray lens. And I'm gonna put this light gray lens in here and see if I can't just get multiple ores out of the same thing and then we're going to come back over here and i'm going to put you here but i need you to face this way and then you lava is produced between 5 and 20. Oh. Nether waste, basalt delta war. Oh, this has to be in the nether. Okay, cool. That's fine. All right. <laughs> Lesson learned. Um, well, at least I've got all of this stuff for it. So uh, you don't need to see me rebuild this, but I am just going to take it into the nether. Uh, this guy seems to be okay. I'm just going to build a second one here. So actually, I should have just kept these guys. Whoa! Oh. Well, there goes that operation. Uh, <laughs> I need to put some light down, apparently. I didn't realize that was an issue for me. Alright, well, I'm going to go and I'm going to rebuild all of that stuff. I'm going to add some more to it. Uh, I'm going to put some light sources out. And hopefully that won't happen again. <laughs> so I will see you all in the next episode. Later.